You must, you must take action equally. Is this an attempt to draw a false equivalence or is it a credible attempt at drawing a parallel? I'm asking you a straightforward, open question so no one said that I'm leading you. No, I'm no spokesperson for the RSS, but in general, I don't think there is any basis for this particular claim except for a false equivalence. And uh, the last time, I think, even under Sri Vajpayee's government, when the CIMI was banned, similar uh, questions and allegations were actually leveled against the government. Now, the fact of the matter is, this particular incident in this ban has brought to fore uh, a long, well-known, open secret, which is perhaps no more a secret, that the left and Islamists in this country enjoy a cozy relationship. No wonder, therefore, that each time something is done against jihadis and people who have a very clear anti-India and specifically anti-Hindu animus, the left effectively jumps to their defense. And I don't think the current instance is any exception to this particular rule. So I'm not at all surprised whatsoever. But we must realize that after the ban of Simi, over a few decades, you've had a PFI, you've had an SDPI. So therefore, while I'm happy that the government has taken this particular move, I suspect that the supporters, the promoters, and the well-wishers of PFI must have anticipated this, and therefore there must already be some kind of action underway to come out in another form. Because at the end of the day, perhaps the short-sightedness of the establishment is that it is going after a particular form as opposed to going after the substance, which means the genesis of this particular mindset, whichever organization or whichever seminary it may be rooted in, needs to be addressed. And this discussion is perhaps a more sensitive discussion because it's possible to ban a particular organization than going after a particular mindset. So one, to answer your question, I don't think there is any symmetry to be drawn between any organizations on this side, so to speak, which is to say on the non-jihadi side and on the jihadi side, there is no such equivalence, there is no such example to be found. But I must also say that while the ban is necessary, it is certainly not sufficient.